Well, kia ora whanau. Welcome to our service today on the 31st of December. We made it, team. Here we are on the last day of the year and what an awesome time it is to gather, to celebrate, to worship our God and to press into His Word. I'm believing God has something powerful to speak to every person today. So I wanna pray and then we're gonna dive into this message on the last day of 2023. Come on, why don't you join me in prayer today? God, I thank You. I thank You for all You've done in our lives this year. And God, I'm praying that as we, as we pause on this moment at the end of the year, Lord, to press into You and Your Word, Lord, that You would speak to hearts. And I'm praying faith would rise in the hearts of every person tuning in for a Rise Online today. Lord, empower and strengthen us for the year ahead. And together we can all say Amen, Amen, Amen. Well, today my message is entitled, His Hands and Your Feet. His hands and your feet. As we embark upon a new year, as we step into 2024, I want to encourage each and every one of us that God is calling us to take steps of faith. Take a step. Take a step in 2024. Allow me to read to you just a few verses from Psalm chapter 37, verses 23 and 24. The Bible says this, the Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. And though they stumble, they will never fall for the Lord holds them by His hand. He directs our steps, that's our feet, and He holds us in His hands. His hands and your feet. If you didn't know, I'm the father of three amazing kids and we're getting ready for the next season of life as our eldest has just turned 13 and and we're embarking on that journey of teenage years. But for all of our kids, I can remember those precious moments as a dad in helping them take their first steps. That's one of the most impacting, powerful and proud moments as a father to help your child as a toddler, wobbly knees, chubby little thighs, oversized head that's causing them to fall out of balance, to help them take that first step. You know, as a dad, you're trying to encourage them. You're trying to coach them. You're trying to coax it out of them. Come on, you can do it. Take that step, come to dad. I believe in you. The teenage, the toddler, I'm sorry, they're teetering, they're, they're, they're falling, they're shaky, they're nervous. But when they take that first step, As a father, there's no greater joy than seeing their smile burst as they realise I can do it and dad's got me. He's holding me in his hand. See, there's security in dad's hand. There's an assurance in dad's hand. There's a familiarity to dad's hand. Dad wants you to go for it. But as a baby, as a toddler, you're nervous. Dad wants you to take a step. He's holding on. He's got you, but He wants you to have a go. He's always there, but He wants you to see that you can do it. He's given you the word. Come on, son. Come on, daughter. I know you can do it, but He wants you to step out in response. This is our God, our Heavenly Father, to each and every one of us at whatever age or stage you're tuning in from today, God is calling you on. God has steps of faith for you to take as we embark upon 2024. I believe He's calling you. I believe He's got great and mighty things for you. I believe He's got a new day for each and every one of us, but it's up to us to take a step. His hands and our feet. We need to trust our Heavenly Father. We need to hear His call. We need to respond. We need to take a step. The Bible said, as I read, that the Lord directs the steps of the godly, the steps. He directs our action. It doesn't say that He directs our standing still, our stagnant, our stationary. He directs those who are bold enough, courageous enough, trust Him enough to take a step. Remember the verse said that they will never fall for the Lord holds them in His hand. He's he's got us in His hands. He's caring for us, protecting us, but He's calling us to take steps. 
You know, in some of the different translations of the Bible, that word directs, God directs the steps of the godly. The Lord directs. Other translations say He establishes or He orders. Or one translation says that the Lord makes firm our steps. Like a doting father to a toddler, our God, our heavenly Father, He makes firm the steps of faith that we take. He says, I've got you. You might stumble, but you'll never fall because I've got you in my hands. His hands and our feet. See, often our challenge is that we know what, what, what God is saying. We know what He's calling. But we want to know every little detail along the way. We want to know about each and every step in the call of God. Tell me, God, what's it going to look like if I take this step? What's going to happen if I make that call? What's going to happen if I step out in faith and obedience? We're more concerned about will I stumble, will I fall, rather than trusting God at His Word that He has us in His hand and I just need to take a step. Like we're having a conversation with our Heavenly Father. I'm at A. You've called me to Z. I want to know B, C, D, all the way through to Y. I want to know every detail, God. But he, we're essentially saying, God, I, I want you to do the stepping for me. But our God is saying, His Word declares that He will order our steps. He will direct your steps. It's up to you as we embark on this new year to decide, I'm going to take steps of faith. If you want His direction in 2024, take a step of faith. If you want God to establish your home and your life in 2024, take a step of faith. If you want God to make firm, make firm, give you a foundation, keep you strong and steadfast, I encourage you, take a step of faith. He directs the steps of the godly. You know, I mentioned it before, but if we're, if we're standing still and not responding to the Word of God, when He's calling us forward, when He's urging us, when He's prompting us, and we stand still, we hold back, we're too nervous to take a step. Well, really, that's a picture of us lacking faith. And we find that all throughout Scripture where, where God is calling His people. Why don't you have faith? Come on, trust me, take a step. And Joshua as this young man is being called to lead a nation, to step into the unknown, for them to conquer the promised land and receive all of the, the great promises that God has for the nation of Israel. One of the verses in Joshua chapter one that God says to Joshua is, I will give you every place where you set your foot. I will give you every place where you set your foot as I promised Moses. The picture for us and for Joshua is that if he stood still, if he didn't respond, if he didn't move forward, if he didn't take a step and set his foot, then God's hand couldn't move. He couldn't deliver. He couldn't come through on the promises because, because of Joshua's lack of faith. Praise God as we read through the journey of Joshua that he was a man who, who had courage, who had faith, who responded to God's Word and He led a nation into the promised land. God wants you to know if you stay with Him, if you listen to His voice, if you take steps, you can go to places you never thought possible. You can see God do things you'd never dreamed of as we take steps of faith. If you need some confidence today to know that God is for you, that He's got you, like He said to Joshua, I am with you and I will never leave you or abandon you. I want you to know there are so many scriptures that show how God is interested in holding our feet. Let me read a bunch of scriptures for you today. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 9. He will guard the feet of His faithful servants. Psalm 121 verse 3, He will not let your foot slip. He watches over you and will not slumber. Psalm 40 verse 2, He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire, and He set my feet upon a rock. He gave me a firm place to stand. Psalm 66, He has preserved our lives and kept our feet from slipping. Did you know there were so many Bible verses about feet? Proverbs 16, verse 9, In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. 
Psalm 119, 133, guide my steps by your word so I will not be overcome by evil. And from the same Psalm that we read at the beginning, Psalm chapter 37, the Bible says, the law of their God is in their hearts. The Scripture, the Word, God's Word is in their hearts that their feet do not slip. Catch this. If you can get God's Word in your heart and then if you can respond to God's Word, He will not let your feet slip. If you can get into the Scriptures this year, if you can be prompted by the voice of God, the Holy Spirit calling you on and you respond with a step of faith, God will not let your feet slip. That's His promise to His faithful followers. One of the greatest examples that we find of this in the Scriptures in the New Testament is Simon Peter. In the midst of a storm, in a boat with all the disciples getting beaten and battered by the waves. Jesus is walking on the water. I, I'm sure you know the story well. And there's a moment where they see Jesus in the distance and Simon Peter calls to Him and Jesus says, yes, it's me, come. And Peter's the one disciple, the only other human to walk on water, to experience the miracle as he stepped literally out of a boat onto the water. <laughs> that requires some faith. That requires trusting that God has got you. That requires responding to the call and the Word of God. Let me read it for you. Matthew chapter 14, verse 27 says, Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, He said. Take courage, I'm here. Someone needs to hear that today on the last day of the year. Don't be afraid, take courage. God is with you, Jesus is here. Then Peter calls, Lord, if it is you, tell me to come. Walking on the water. And Jesus said, yes, come. So Peter went over the side of the boat, walked on the water toward Jesus. Peter walked on water. His feet did not slip on the most slippery of surfaces. He took a step of faith and that's what actually stopped your feet from slipping. When you are bold enough to say, if it's you, Lord, I'm gonna go for it. And he says, yes, come. You might wanna write this down today. One line to remind you as we embark upon 2024, write this down. Faith makes shaky ground firm. Faith makes shaky ground firm. When we take steps, that's faith. Into the unknown, it feels shaky. Then God holds us and it becomes firm. Faith makes shaky ground firm. Firm. It's our steps of faith that can activate God's hand. It's our feet that activate His hands. Remember, Peter only began to slip when he took his eyes off Jesus, stopped listening to the call and started to consider the wind and waves all around him. The Bible says that's when he began to sink and began to drown. He stopped listening to God's call. Here's what it says, Matthew 14 verse 30. When he saw the strong wind and the waves, he was terrified and he began to sink. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him, his hands. And he said to Peter, why have so little faith? Why did you doubt me? You know what that teaches us? That if Peter kept his eyes on Jesus, responded to the call. He could have kept walking on water. He could have experienced a miracle. He could have changed history if only he had the faith to take more steps. What is God calling you to in this new year? What is God prompting you that it's time for you to take a step? Remember, whilst Peter focused on Jesus and what he had called him to, he walked in the miraculous. It was only when he took his eyes off Jesus and looked at the wind and waves that things started to overwhelm him. His faith made shaky ground firm. His faith made shaky ground firm. He trusted for those moments in the hand of God to hold his feet, his hands and our feet. Remember, you have to move your feet to experience his hand. If Peter sat in the boat like all the other disciples, he doesn't experience that miracle moment. If we sit in our boat for all of 2024, God's calling us, His Word's prompting us, the Holy Spirit is urging us, but we stay in the boat, 
we miss out on the miraculous. So what's God calling you to this year? What's God prompting you saying, come on, son, come on, daughter, I've got you. Take that step and see what I can do through your life. Do you remember that old song? He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Do you know that song? I think that that's easier for us to believe than he's got me in his hands. To believe that our God created the universe, created the world, and sure, He's there in heaven holding the whole globe in His hands. That's one thing. But He wants you to know. He wants each and every one of us to know. He holds the world in His hands and He holds you in the palm of His hand. He wants to order your steps, direct your steps. God has a plan, a purpose, something miraculous for you. If you would take steps of faith. God told Joshua to take steps so he could give him the land. Jesus called Peter to take steps so he could experience a miracle. And God is saying to each and every one of us today, as you step into 2024, would you be willing to take a step of faith into the unknown so I can give you victory, so you can experience the miracle, so you can show the world that I'm an overcoming God. Let's take steps this year, church. Let's be a people of faith and allow God to move in our situation. Let's have our faith make shaky ground firm. You know, I've heard it said that I'd much rather be a wet water walker than a dry boat talker. I'd rather be trying to take a step of faith and get a little bit wet than sit in the boat and wonder what if. Let's be a wet water walker in 2024. What is God calling you to? What is the Word of God prompting and urging you to do? Let's take a step because faith makes shaky ground firm. Maybe someone tuning in today needs to start that business this year. He's been calling you, urging you, prompting you. Now's the time to take a step of faith. Maybe someone needs to put an offer on that house. Maybe someone needs to do the Arise Ministry School in 2024. Maybe someone needs to sell those possessions that have consumed your heart and mind. And God's saying, take a step and let it go. Maybe someone needs to give that money to sow a seed in faith to see what God would do. Maybe someone needs to ask that person out on a date. Take a step, see what God would do. Maybe someone needs to invite a loved one to church with you next week. Maybe someone Someone needs to do that course of study. Maybe someone needs to join that team and serve in the house of God. Maybe you need to apply for that job. Come on, let's take a step. Let's be bold. Let's be courageous and see what God would do. Let's make 2024 a year of taking faith steps. His hands and our feet. Let's allow God to order our steps. Let's allow God to direct our steps. Let's not get stagnant or stationary. Let's take a step of faith because faith makes shaky ground firm. You can trust in God. He's calling you on. Would you be like Peter? Would you be like Joshua? Would you take a step of faith and say, God, if it's you, I'm coming in Jesus' mighty name.